Once again, uh, welcome to a new problem. Uh, this time, we have two cars were given, uh, two cars driving in opposite directions. You have a bigger car uh, with the mass, I'm going to call it MA, happens to be uh, 1750 uh, kilograms, and then uh, it has a velocity VA, uh, which you call the initial velocity moving in the uh, in the right direction, it's a positive velocity, so that's going to be 1.5 meters per second positive. That's what we're given, and then uh, we're also given a second car. Uh, we're going to call it B, uh, and it's driving towards the left. It has a mass of uh, 1,450 kilograms, and then uh, it has an initial velocity in the left uh, of um, 1.1 meters per second but uh, we're going to have it as negative because it's moving in the opposite direction so this is positive and that's negative uh, the other thing that we're given is that uh, these two cars are going to bump onto each other so there's going to be some bumping going on uh, they'll, they'll collide okay so this is kind of like the uh, before uh, and then after you know afterwards they collide so this is the second car uh, when they collide the final velocity of the first car is still in the positive direction but this time it's reduced to 0 0.25 meters per second uh, for the other car after collision so we're saying this is what happens after collision uh, it's going to be going in so both of them are now traveling in the same direction so the final velocity of the second car happens to be um uh, happens to be if if we check that uh you know we don't know what the final velocity is going to be so that's what we need to find out okay we want we want to find out what happened afterwards uh, and then also we want to find the change in kinetic energy Okay, remember, uh, there is no friction in this scenario, so that means we don't have any losses, uh, losses of energy in the system. So the, uh, the fact that there is no friction, the momentum is conserved. Okay, we have, um, uh, we have conservation of momentum. You know, that's, that's what's going on in this case. Uh, change in kinetic energy simply is the, the final kinetic energy of the system minus the initial uh, kinetic energy of the system. And, and that means uh, we have to account for both the kinetic energy uh, of the two, the two cars. So I'm going to kick off on part A and uh, see that uh, we're applying the um, uh, so momentum, uh, momentum, after collision uh, happens to be exactly the same as the momentum before collision. And so the momentum after collision uh, is the mass of A times the final velocity of A um, plus the mass of B times the final velocity of B uh, which is the second car and then before collision we have the mass of a times the initial velocity of a plus the mass of b times the initial velocity of b our goal is to find the final velocity of b which is the second car and we know it's it's moving uh, we're gonna see how it's moving it could be moving towards the left or towards the right just depends on the sign of of the uh, solution so this is m a uh, v AI uh, plus MB, uh, VBI, uh, uh, minus, so we're moving this one to the right, MA, uh, VA final. We have all that information, and we want to divide everything by the mass of B. Uh, that gives us our final velocity of B. Uh, for purposes of writing the uh, numbers in the problem, uh, we're going to jump into the next page to get the, v fi uh, the final velocity of B of the second car. 
And uh, if you can see from that, we have the mass of A, 1750 kilograms. Okay, we have uh, 1750 kilograms times uh, the velocity of A, which is 1.5 uh, uh, meters per second, the initial velocity of A, 1.50 meters per second. Um, and then also uh, we want to add the mass of B, 14. Uh, 50 kilograms times the velocity initial velocity of B 1.10 meters per second uh, and then there is also another portion of the problem uh, which needs to be subtracted and that happens to be the mass of A and the final velocity of A uh, the mass of A and the final velocity of A so we're subtracting that uh, 1750 kilograms uh, times the final velocity of A happens to be, if you go back on this side, uh, 0 0.25 meters per second. 0 0.25 meters per second. Uh, and all of that is going to be divided, as you can see, by the mass of B. Always a good habit to leave the variables up until the end. So this is 1450 uh, kilograms. When you plug in the numbers, you find that the velocity of the lighter car uh, ends up being 0 0.4086867. So let's let's just make sure that this is uh, this is the right the, the right process. So we have uh, 1750 times 1.50 uh, plus uh, 1450 um, times negative 1.10 and then minus 1750 um, times 0.25 so we and then we have to divide by 1450 and that gives us a 0 0.4086 that's the final velocity of of the smaller car and it's positive meaning that it's moving towards the right meters per second remember we're still under the law of uh conservation of momentum okay and so that's that's what we're using uh, in this case and the second part of the problem that's part b uh, we're going to see how uh, the change in kinetic energy happens. That's just the kinetic energy final of the system minus kinetic energy initial uh, of the system. And so the final kinetic energy is um, the uh, kinetic the final kinetic energy of uh, the bigger car, which we're calling A final plus the final uh, kinetic energy of the smaller car minus the final uh, initial uh, kinetic energy of the bigger car plus the initial kinetic energy uh, uh, of the uh, smaller car. So that's, that's the process right here. So this is one half MA uh, uh, V a final squared plus one half uh, mb v b final uh, squared minus always use brackets when you have to one half m uh, a v a initial squared uh, plus one half mb v b initial squared so that's our change in uh, kinetic energy we can simplify the whole thing by uh, moving things around so we have one half uh, ma va final squared uh, this one right here we're going to put them together minus one half uh, ma va initial squared and then we bring this on plus one half MB um, VB final squared 
minus one half mb vb initial squared so what we're doing right now we're doing algebra we're doing a distribution of the minus to both of them and then putting all the a's and all the b's together uh so uh there's a uh, there's a big one half outside and then we have ma uh, va final squared minus um va initial squared uh, uh, plus um You have to change this part right here because it's a single. Uh, we pulled we pulled out the one half outside because it shows up in all of them. So we want to have that. So this is plus uh, MB VB um, I should have called this VB final. So it, you know it looks like something a little bit different. It's a subscript though. So we, we have to bring it back down there, a final squared like that. Uh, we get rid of this this one right here, this square. We don't need a single one. So in this case, uh, VB final uh, squared minus VB initial uh, square. Don't forget that square right there. And that's our whole problem. Next part is uh, we just need to plug in numbers. We could use... Uh, the difference between two squares if you wanted to uh, but again that's optional up uh, uh, up to you um, so the change in kinetic energy uh, becomes equivalent to one half uh, we plug in the numbers mass of a is 1750 uh, kilograms and then we plug in the final velocity of a which is 0. 0.25 meters per second uh, you know you want to square uh, you want to square that result so we have to be very focused on how we simplify this uh, so you know this this whole thing is squared and then minus the initial velocity was 1.5 uh, that's for A. You could see the initial velocity was 1.5 meters per second. Uh, uh, and that's also going to be squared. And then uh, we go back. We see we need a plus mass of B, uh, which is 1450 kilograms. Um, and then the final velocity of B, we need to get the final velocity of B, which is 0 0.4086. 0 0.4086 meters per second uh, squared minus, if you go back, initial velocity of uh, B, uh, that's at the beginning where we see it's negative 1.10 meters per second. Negative 1.10 meters per second and we also need to square that uh, when we plug in the numbers when we plug in the numbers we get to see that the final final um, uh, so we have 1750 minus that uh, we simplify this is 1.5 uh, and so uh, the final final uh, becomes negative 2670, uh, around about 0.3 uh, joules. Okay, so this is the change in kinetic energy. That's the change in kinetic energy that happens when you have two cars moving in the opposite directions and then they bump into each other. Okay, uh, so negative 267.3 joules uh, kilograms. Hope you enjoyed uh, the video. Feel free to share any questions uh, or, or comments. We're looking forward to uh, talking to you in the next uh, video and have a wonderful day. Okay, bye.